Hi, I'm Ignacio Masigoye, PhD student in Ciampiri Lab, Kansas State University. I'm currently working on crop intensification alternatives and today we are on our experiment located in Manhattan, Kansas. Our objective is to explore different cycle lengths in corn and soybean crops in two contrasting planting dates. For that, we are using from 72 to 115 corn relative maturity genotypes and from 0 to 5 soybean maturity groups. This information will be useful to assess how different cycle lengths adapt their growth and phenology and therefore explore the best combinations to intensify our current cropping systems. Hi, my name is Ignacio Ampiti. I'm a professor in the Department of Agronomy at Kansas State University. Today we are coming from Manhattan, Kansas. Ignacio already explained a little bit about the concept of the project, how this project will be practical and relevant for farmers is because we are looking at how we are optimizing and selecting the best CRMs, duration for corn, planting date, and also we are exploring similar concepts on soybeans. The main questions that we get from farmers many times are, how late can I plant my corn? And also, do I need to change my maturity variety and in, in the case of soybeans or maturity length for corn? And these are the questions that we are collecting some data and trying to provide some answers to farmers. So Ignacio is exploring different options of maturity here for corn and also for soybeans. And the main goal is that we are not only changing the hybrids on corn and the varieties of soybeans, but we're also testing different planting times. This information will be extremely relevant for many farmers that they are facing challenges based on drought, lack of precipitation, temperature effects in late in the season. So and optimizing and trying to find the optimal combinations of planting time and materials in case of corn and soybeans are quite relevant across the state. Stay tuned for more results. Audio jungle.